True story. Clive wanted to be a superhero, but despite consuming vast amounts of spinach, he remained puny. Clive had no sword of destiny or shield of truth. He couldn't jump tall buildings, and although his specs cured his astigmatism, they didn't gift him x-ray vision. Clive settled into his office job, his superhero career seemingly in tatters, when one day he went on a training course. To be clear, this wasn't any old training course, it was THE training course. The one that rekindled his passion and ignited the fire in his belly. It had a strange title, silly even, while many of his work colleagues rolled their eyes at the art of being brilliant. Clive remained open-minded. He was intrigued. The first thing he noticed was that the trainer seems to care about the subject. And when I say care, I mean they really cared. It was plain speaking and simple, the exact opposite of death by PowerPoint. There were some funny bits, but somehow Clive understood that the main message wasn't funny at all. The curious thing about this workplace training is that it wasn't really about work. The art of being brilliant was about life and aliveness. The trainer called it flourishing. It's an aliveness that leaks out of you and creates an uplift in others. Clive was all in. He looked around and noticed that even the skeptics had shut their laptops. Well, that's a first. Clive's ears pricked up when the trainer said that everyone in the room was a superhero, but that too many people were pretending to be normal. And that was it. Bingo. That's me, thought Clive. My superhero dream isn't extinct. It's just dormant. And from that day forward, no ifs, no buts. Clive used the principles from the art of being brilliant to raise his game at work, at home, with his mates when visiting his mum. Clive started to reveal his inner superhero. Ironically, Clive lost the power in visibility, but he gained visibility and self-respect, plus a whole load of positivity, confidence, purpose, gratitude, creativity, kindness and resilience. As Clive embraced these long lost superpowers, he began to shine. And that was four years ago. And guess what? Clive is still shining. He loves his work. His colleagues adore him. And best of all, his customers can't get enough of him. Note to self, neither can his other half. Clive still can't jump tall buildings and try as he might, X-ray vision eludes him. Clive's found his superpower which he had cunningly hidden as Clive. Clive 1.0 had been perfectly fine, but the upgrade to Clive 2.0 was lighting up the world. Clive's currently considering taking it to the next level. Is wearing my underpants on the outside a step too far? If you'd like the Clive experience, get in touch.